Yes, 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 is all I have to say about us leaning in today. And welcome back to the Light Warriors Unleashed podcast. And I am just so grateful to be serving you today in this level of energy. So I got asked a question earlier this week from a past client of mine who's really in the space right now of owning who she really is and dismantling all of the things going on in her mind in connection with why she can't, all the thinking side and fully leaning in to trust this next level of embodiment that's flowing through her. But she's having some challenges in connection with trusting and in connection with surrendering. So she asked the question this week about is belief, the belief in ourselves, the belief in our mission, the same as trusting? And let's have this conversation today because I think it's such an important topic that we lean into as light warriors, as light workers, as light beings in this earth, really understanding this word of trust inside of our space and how it shows up in our belief system and how it shows up in the control mechanisms of the world and how it shows up in this conformity energy that we're weaving through right now that we are literally dismantling in real time in the collective in all ways and how it shapes and moves through us so i want to chat with you guys a little bit about this because i think this is an important very very an important subject and some of you guys are really like right at the cusp right so when I talk about like awakening or I talk about ascension and I talk about spiritual evolution, we have a soul in our body and our soul incarnated in this meat suit is what I call it. And we dropped into earth for certain experiences. So we came down with a purpose. Okay. We have a certain game plan and not in a way that we don't have free will. So I want to make sure I state that out loud. Free will is a gift that we've been given in this earth experience. It allows us to choose to move um, in some ways, shapes, or form. Um, it allows us to self-sabotage. Um, it also allows us to you know, lean into different aspects of ourselves. And it is a beautiful, beautiful gift, this free will. However, if we are scared or if we live in fear, or if we really believe and listen to people outside of ourselves instead of inside of us within us first, we could potentially lean into more challenging pathways, lean into the same pattern repeating, lean into this space of doubt within ourselves. So as we start to shift in this collective, and I call it the awakening, as we start to awaken, remembering who we really are, we come up against these obstacles in our space that are like the next level obstacles. So I just keep getting this visual right now of like Mario Brothers. And when I was younger, and I can't remember the official name because I used to literally play on Nintendo, right? And not in Nintendo, whatever souped up that there is now or Xbox. I'm talking about old school Nintendo. Um, and there was this Mario Brothers game that I used to love. I also really love that Bubble Bubble game too, which was like my favorite. And if you take me to an arcade right now, um, I would kick your ass at Bubble Bubble, just stating that out loud in case you desire to know that. But I just keep seeing this next level as we get to the end of the level we then get initiated into this next phase, right? And the same thing is happening right now in the collective of energy. So we are here, wherever here means for you, floating around and doing life. And then something peaks us in an energy field that's like, hmm, what if, or is that truth? And you start to question or get curious about this next phase. So as you lean into that curiosity, more things open up for you to be able to look at, expand into, and take into account. And as you continue to do this, you then get to the next level, right? Which opens up a new level of energy and a new level of awareness and a new level of truth dynamic within you. Now, a couple things start to happen as we move through these phases. We get put up against these belief systems that no longer serve the energy field that we're in. Right. And they could show up in all different kinds of ways, like what you were taught in school, um, the mannerisms you were taught in school, the, the thinking of your doubting of yourself is no longer relevant at this level, which it will show up often for a lot of you. And a lot of you are working through this right now and you are having a freaking tough time. You are having a challenging time moving through this because you keep thinking about it instead of dropping into your heart and surrendering. And I'm going to talk you through this in a second. But we get to this phase and now it's like these new levels of awareness start to drop in and we start to feel more things in us. 
but we come up against what I call like the, this duality in us, the war we have inside of ourselves, the old person that we were and the new person we're becoming. And not that we are becoming a new person. We are remembering who we really are. So let's just say that that's the dynamic. We're remembering who we really are. And these things that served us in the past, um, old thought processes, how we showed up in life, you know, for me, a lot of the dismantling was in hustle energy and forcing things to happen. Those no longer work in my world. I literally, there's some days that I work a lot of hours and I do step into a lot of energy on some days, but it's by choice. I stack that in my calendar and it's not in a hustle energy where I feel like I have to do this. It's in a very connected energetics for me that I am empowered to step into this space to move it through, right? So there's a whole difference in energy when it comes to force and hustle and power and alignment, or we call it power and authenticity even over here, right? So as we start to move through, we get put up against the edge. We can stay in the past over here with the same conditioning, the same value system, the same beliefs, the same actions. However, the challenge then becomes is we have a new level of knowledge that's paired up with this old self that they cannot exist, coexist in the same space. And over time, maybe you don't feel it at first, and maybe you consciously keep moving through the past, but over time, you will not be able to hold capacity there. You are going to have to step out of this space, whatever that space is for you, and fully surrender to embody the next level. Because when we have awareness, we cannot go back. <laughs> and trust me, there has been some times in my life where I have thought of and desired to move back over. I'm like, dude, can you just take it all away and let me go back to the ignorant self that I was that didn't live in this place of knowing? And obviously that is not something that can happen naturally in this life, nor would it be connected authentically to the energy I hold because I am sure I could take some drugs and I'm sure I could be put into some kind of limited capacity because our medical system is so fucked right now um, inside of the space. They probably have some way, shape or form to fucking knock me out. Guarantee you they do, right? So that could happen in that relative form, but I know that the truth that pulse through me needs to get out into the world in whatever way that is. So whether that's in this podcast, whether that's on my content, whether that's in the programs that I offer or one-to-one -one work that I do, there's a pulse that's moving through me that's amplifying and igniting and literally activating every single day. And I choose every day to step into that space alongside it. And I choose every day to take on that embodiment and to do the work that is needed for me to get to the next phase. I choose that every day. I step in every day and it's consciously choice. Now, granted, I've been doing a lot of this work for a long time. So some of you are right at the beginning of this cusp of blossoming, we'll call it, this cusp of this movement within you. And some of you are right at the top end of this, starting to see it right? Starting to be called forward into it, starting to move within you inside of this space. So a couple things I really want you to know, okay? It's not easy dismantling the past and stepping into this next level and trusting. So this whole connection within this belief and trust over here weaves itself together. Of course, it weaves itself together. Because if we don't believe that this is possible, how can we drop into trusting that it's possible? Let me say this again. If we don't believe that this is possible, how can we step in to trusting that it's possible? So the first thing we have to work on is this belief, meaning, okay, I don't may not know all the answers. I may not know why. I may not know how. I may not know anything, but all I know is I'm being called forward to step in, okay? And when we get the call, when it drops into our awareness, when our intuition says yes, when it comes forth through us, it's the calling moving through you to step in. And that needs to be enough that you start to surrender. 
And it doesn't make any sense to our logical mind. None at all. Our logical mind wants to know, well, how are we going to do this? When is it going to happen? What is it going to look like? Who's going to sign up for that? Who's going to get alignment with that? Who's going to trust your information? And all the fucking bullshit that we say in our goddamn mind all the time to ourselves and enabling us from fully surrendering and stepping in. Now, guys, I went through an experience in 2020. And I've been through the dark nights of the souls. I've been through shadow work. I keep doing shadow work. Guys, I went through an experience in 2020. And you know what? I am not the first. This isn't the first time I've been through shadow work. I have been through dark nights of the soul. I have been through the darkness within. I have moved through this energy inside of my life and I continue to do shadow work. I am right now in an experience doing shadow work. But in 2020, in December of that month, it was like a whole shift and change had happened. I finally surrendered and understood what it meant to be codependent and what it meant to be in codependent relationships. And for a long time, I knew sort of that I was going through codependent relationships, but I never would admit that out loud or fully own it or fully take responsibility of it. And it was December the 1st of that month where I had the biggest meltdown and realization of my whole entire life that I was living and breathing in codependent relationships. Now, I wasn't in a love relationship at the time, yet I had a good guy friend of mine that consistently moved through my world in a very codependent energy that I allowed that to happen consistently all the time. And what started showing up was that I couldn't fully own my power. I couldn't fully step into the space because of the fact that I was always had this rope almost attached to him and attached to other people in my world that I always was choosing to have codependency in my life because if I actually didn't, then what would happen? Then what, I would fully be myself? Then what, I would fully finally step into the lane? Then what, I would fully finally own who I really was and actually be able to be independent fully and feel that vibration? So I went through this crazy, crazy dark night experience. Like literally I was on my knees and I was like, God, I understand that this is a dynamic in my life and this is a coping mechanism that I've created that is detrimental to me and self-sabotaging and completely pulling me out in the world that I'm supposed to be in and serve in because of the fact that it's easy when other people are taking care of me. It's easy when other people show up for me. It's easy, you know, when other people do this, although my pride and ego would get hit, it was easy. And I knew it wasn't supposed to be this way that I was meant for more things and bigger things, but I had to get over this space that I was in. I had to get over this dynamic in my world. I had to move through this. So I finally made a decision that night. And I said, no longer will I step into this relationship these ways. No longer will I reach out for help like this. And not that support networks aren't important, but when they're diminishing us from fully stepping in and owning our independence, owning our power, and they diminish our light, they are not in alignment for what we're meant to do. So I literally, bawling my face off, surrendered down on my knees to God. And I just said, God, and you know, whomever you speak to, spirit, source, universe, your guides, your higher self, whatever it is that makes sense for you. But I literally dropped down and I went, God, I have no fucking clue how to do this. I have no idea how I'm going to make this move. And I know you keep dropping in this mission in my heart. And I know that you desire me to lead this way, but I just don't fucking know. I have no clue. I don't know how. I don't know any of it. And I literally had a meltdown. And one of the biggest meltdowns that actually went into depth, you know, for years, I was a surface level meltdowner, meaning, yeah, yeah, I got the lesson. Let's keep moving. Right. And I wouldn't go into the depths of it. I would surface level it and scratch the surface. Right. So this was one of the many. Um, and if I look back on certain pillars of my time on earth, um, I know where they are, but this was one of the many depthful, dark experiences that I had to drop in. And so as I did that and I said, God, like, I just, I, I don't know, I just need some help. And I mean, I, I really need some help. And the only thing I heard was you need to call your friend, Nicole. So I called Nicole and I'm like bawling my face off and like, and she's hardly ever seen me that way. Right. And 
um, it was me finally showing up, being real and speaking about the real shit going on in my life instead of me putting myself on this pedestal and holding it all in inside of me. And she said to me, she's like, okay, here's the game plan. This is what I need you to do first. And then I was like, perfect. Okay, let's keep moving through that. All right, guys. So full stop on the podcast for one quick second in case you're like, wait a second, you're in a different outfit if you've been watching the video and not just listening to the video. So I've been having super intense technology problems. Like Zoom says it's recording and it stops recording in the middle of the podcast. I literally had to record the sound clips in a separate app and then I couldn't get the video done. So I literally went into a meditation this afternoon and I was earlier today, I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to do a video at all. Like, I'm just not going to launch a video for episode three and do that at all. But then something dropped in and said, no, you have to complete the video for episode three. So here I am uh, just on my iPhone video. So I'm not doing this through any other technology, but on my phone, not through any internet connection, not through any filters, like you'll be able to see the ring light <laughs> and everything in here, but it's about the messaging and it's about you guys really feeling this and understanding this because I am being blocked at all different directions to get this out. So I know that this is potent and I know that this is needed and I'm gonna step in even though I'm not in the same outfit and even though I'm not, like I'm owning this right here, right now in the middle of this podcast, and giving this to you because I think that this is important for you to understand too, like the surrendering. I know the mission is inside of me and sometimes we need to step in with a bit of grit and move it through and then keep showing up and keep showing up and keep showing up, right? Okay, let me get back to the story. <laughs> 2020, December of 2020, right? I was in this really intense space of like, like my next dark night of the soul, this complete meltdown, this complete, like literally this complete surrendering to God. And I called my girlfriend, Nicole, and she said to me, okay, this is what you're going to do. And then I went and did it. And then she's like, this is what you're going to do. And I went and did it. And I kept doing what she said that night. And I just kept taking action. And by the time I was done, everything had evened out the way that was needed to even out. And then the next day I made another choice and I made a choice to surrender. And then the next day after that, I made another choice to surrender. And the next day after that, I made another choice to surrender. And it started to get easier as I did it. I started to listen more. Now, granted, I'm going to own this in 2021. Um, I would listen, but maybe I didn't take action fully right away in the alignment. I doubted it a little bit and I procrastinated a little bit inside of that space. So I own that. But I started to launch different things in 2021. I started to listen to new programs that were dropping in, to circles that were dropping in, to master classes that were dropping in, and I took action. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. But my job was to continuously step into the space in alignment and trust the process. So as I continued to do that moving into 2022, I made a vow to myself that I'd be all in this year. So 2022, all in. I'm going to test this out. I'm going to feel it out. I'm not going to question anything. I'm just going to take action and keep moving. So highest revenue months dropped in in 2022. I think it was like I sold 63 different um, like different income things, um, <laughs> different income things. I'm like, let's be so uh, professional right now. Um, I had like 63 different ways I made money in that year from different offers. That's what I meant. Um, what else happened? I had the most people in a masterclass ever. I started owning my brand and owning my power and really stepping in. And as I listened, the confidence came. As I listened, the courage came. Now, I was always a courageous person and I was always that one that would just push the boundaries. But sometimes I would need an extra little push. I didn't need a push. I just was, right? And I started to move and flow within that. And I started to embody it. And I started to align it. And I started to make it happen. And I started to move it all through. And then it came a time at the beginning of this year. And I went, I understand what it means to surrender. And not that I didn't before. But now everything I do is in that vibration. And sometimes I joke around still with my guides or my higher self when it drops in. I'm like, are you for real? But I just keep taking action. And I'm watching as I do that, the potency of my power moving through. The potency of how I serve. Some of you listening to this right now on my YouTube channel have been in programs or offerings for me over the last six months. And you notice the change, especially since I moved to Costa Rica, which will be five months in like a week. Uh, that I've been here and my energy is so potent stepping in and I don't even realize it. 
Like I don't have a conscious awareness on it. But when my people can't ground in meditations and they fly off into the ethers, it means something is shifting at dimensional levels within them in the quantum. And it's so cool to be embodied this way in the work that I get to do and serve in that work. But it all started because I trusted. And it all started because I stopped listening to the little fucking mind chatter in my mind. And I started stepping in and stepping in and trusting that I can make it work and trusting that people would believe me and trusting that I could call the right people in. And I did. And trusting that what was coming through me was exactly what they needed. And it was at the time, whenever they listened to it, whenever they stepped into it, it was. And I was activating and I was amplifying and I was accelerating and I was doing all these things that is part of my soul's mission. But I wouldn't be able to be here or get here if I didn't stop the mind chatter in my mind that says, you can't do that. Who are you to be able to channel Sophia? Who are you to be able to do this? And all the other fucking shit that goes on in our brain. So it's time for us to step in and move through these belief systems that are fucking every single day keeping you in conformity and keeping you diminished and keeping you in this space. And it's time for you to own this shit. It's time for you to let go. And surrender to God and take action in, the, in his alignment or action in Sophia's alignment or action in spirit's alignment or source or universal, whatever it is that you call it that is guiding you on this pathway right now. And it's time to surrender and lean in. And it's time to let go and to allow yourself to be there. Allow yourself to embody this. Allow yourself to move it through. Allow yourself to be this amazing being that you're meant to be without all the bullshit around you. Guys, this is a powerful place to be. And as light warriors, we are being called. And this is a pivotal, pivotal change that is needed right now in our space. And we are being moved into this acceleration. We are being moved into this. And the more you uh, inhibit it or you resist it, the stronger it's coming in. And the more potent it's coming in. And the more ass kicking you're going to get. Guys, do you want to live a life where you get your ass whooped all the fucking time? Or do you want to live a life of peace and surrender and alignment and authentic liberation? I got this vision one day about um, my mission on earth. And the two words that came out was you are to lead in authentic liberation and teach people how to authentically liberate themselves. And this is what I've been doing ever since then. And it's going to be really cool to see how this all plays out. But I want you to really understand this piece is one of the most pivotal pieces out of all the pieces that you're going to need. And it's the fucking hardest one. And you know what? I've been through shadow work after shadow work after shadow work, dark nights of the soul, surface level shadowing. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm out on the other side. And I fucking didn't have any idea what that meant until December of 2020 where I dropped in and I went, I'm fucking done. I'm done with codependency. I'm done with all of this fucking shit around me. I'm done. And I'm ready to step in and embody. And I'm ready to step into my mission. God, I'm ready. I'm ready. And I don't know what that fucking means. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I don't know if people are going to buy anything. And I don't know how to serve this way. But I am ready. And I will figure it out as long as I keep surrendering and trusting and taking action. And I did. And only now there's more and more crazy things happening in my world in amazing crazy ways and I am so grateful to see how this is all playing out right now in my life currently and what's going to happen in March I feel you pulsing I feel you moving through me and it's for you guys too and wherever you find this video and this randomness but you are meant to be here right now in this moment of time this video especially this part right here was created for you because I was brought in right now to make sure we got this out, whether I'm in one outfit or another outfit or in the dark or whether it's the sun setting or the sun shining in or whatever it is. All the pieces of this video are all at different times because shit got fucked up all the way through. Five different times I tried Zoom. Five. And I only got pieces of everything. So this is a mishmash. And I love mishmashes because we were all mishmash. So I'm holding space for you and I want you to really understand that. Now, if you're really feeling this message... Um, you can also pull up the original podcast on normal podcast like stations and stuff because it's there and you can see what the last seven minutes are different than these last seven minutes or nine minutes or whatever it is right now we're moving through. But, um, but yeah, share it out guys. Help me with comments. Help me spread the word because light warriors are needed to unleash now and this part, this pivotal piece of trust and dismantling the belief systems that are enabling trust 
are so pivotal in this world at this time. So help me share this out if you feel it. My Instagram handle is also down below if you want to take a snapshot of this and tag me on Instagram and help me spread the word because this is where the message matters and the community comes together. So I want to leave you with one last thought. Anything in life is possible. Anything. It's our mind that's keeping us playing small in that perspective. So I urge you now to step the fuck out of it and to start to take action in your alignment. And to start to surrender and believe that you are worthy of all of it. It doesn't have to be hard anymore, guys. It doesn't have to be hard anymore. Make the choice and make it easy. And I'll see you guys in another episode soon. Bye for now.